Hi guys, this is Mark Shaws and the Pattern Trader standing before you on a glorious day in South Florida. Yesterday uh, I was talking about uh, the potential that the U.S. stock indexes uh, may have uh, topped and be poised to reverse lower. Uh, it turns out I couldn't have been more wrong and that's okay. Uh, I came in short, the market went lower, I actually covered a lot of my short positions, made some money, and uh, then actually got long. Now, again, this is uh, kind of how I have evolved as a trader. Uh, before, when I was young, I'd consult the uh, textbooks, I'd see the classic uh, patterns, and then I would put everything on the line and then stay married to that, no matter what. You know, I saw the, uh, the pattern, I saw it in the textbook, so of course it has to happen. Well, it doesn't work that way. You know, the only thing that's right out there is the market. You know, we can have an opinion, we can have our analysis, we can do all the things we want to do, but at the end of the day, it's the market who's going to have the final say, and we just need to stand back and observe and surrender to the will of the market. So what I've learned is I put a structure, a pattern around, uh, boundaries around what I'm looking at, and then I look at how the market behaves within those boundaries. And if it goes according to my analysis and confirms everything I'm looking at, then fine. You know, I'm going with the trade. But now I've become equally adept to look for the traps, the potholes where the market looks like it's going a certain way and then it doesn't cooperate. And I've learned that that's actually as important a trading decision. So when it doesn't go, I actually, you know, get on the other side very quickly. Uh, as I did yesterday. I started buying uh, call options in the uh, QQQs uh, as the market turned around and went higher and uh, I made a hell of a lot of money. The upside actually stayed long uh, and that's what we need to do uh, as traders. So um, what I've learned, especially yesterday, uh, so I kind of recommended that maybe you take a look at this ETF, the SQQ, Q, which will go up if the market goes down. It's an inverse. So again, it's a little bit different, you know, the market, uh, if that you know, particular ETF goes up, the market is going down. So what happened was the market opened much lower. So the SQQs uh, opened much higher and then, uh, you know, started just uh, traveling lower as it opened. So what I've learned to do is I watch the first half hour bar. And uh, in, in, as in the case of the market and the SQQs, um, in the case of the SQQs, the market opened on the very high price of the day and then just kept on trading lower. And by the end of the half hour bar, it had uh, closed right on the low. So again, it opened at the very high and then closed on the low and I, I knew that was over. So as much as I thought it was you know, going higher and whatnot, I had to kind of quickly divest myself of that uh, opinion and uh, start getting on the other side, which is what I did. So again, the market is always right. We have to learn uh, to accept and surrender to what the market's telling us, not get married to a uh, uh, position. So I'm kind of now net long the market. I've been making a fortune in the stock market. Uh, I started buying uh, Facebook uh, stock and Facebook call options a couple of weeks ago. Made an absolute unfair fortune on that. I started shorting Tesla at about 305 and wrote it down to about $280 and uh, made an absolute fortune. Uh, made $400,000 in one day actually in Tesla uh, just last week. And I'm gonna explain some of the strategies and my outlook and how I've been doing uh, certain things in the stock market. As I've said, you can apply all my trading principles, my methodologies, my strategies uh, in any trading market. So I don't care if you're trading cocoa, uh, live cattle, uh, Netflix stock, uh, or gold. Uh, you can apply all of these trading principles. Uh, I'll leave you with one uh, last thought. One of the uh, tr favorite trading patterns of mine is a descending wedge triangle. Now I find the euro versus the British pound uh, and the dollar versus the yen trapped in the same uh, weekly descending wedge. And I think the implications for both those pairs uh, are going to be the same. I see euro pound going lower. I see dollar yen going lower. I actually put out an email to uh, my elite members last night uh, saying that I thought that dollar yen had topped, that if they felt aggressive to kind of get in there and get short and it's kind of plummeted in today's session. And I think that it's going to keep going. So I think dollar yen, euro pound are poised to go lower out of this descending wedge uh, triangle. 
So uh, I'll keep uh, you know you posted on my thoughts there. So with that said, take care, and I'll see you uh, next time.